My name is Susan Nazarwick, and it's N-A-Z-A-R-E-W-I-C-Z. I used to be Susan Mulfer, but I just got married June 21st to this wonderful man that is behind the camera. My website, as you see here, is traintracks.com, and today I want to show you how to segue a conversation onto the gospel track at a restaurant. Um, this is from my restaurant train track that you can see on my website, traintracks.com. And train tracks are for Christians to help them transition conversations onto the gospel track. And uh, so this is what you can do at a restaurant. First of all, there may be a waiting line. And so while you're at the door waiting, you can say this. You know, as I pause here by this door, it reminds me of what Jesus said. He said, I am the door. Anyone who enters through me will be saved. You know, Jesus is the most important door that you'll ever walk through. Have you ever walked through that door? So that's one icebreaker you can use. In fact, I used that icebreaker a couple weeks ago when my husband painted our front door a beautiful color. And I said to this 17-year-old guy walking by, I said, my husband just painted our front door. Do you like it? And he said, sure. And I said, you know, that's the most important door you'll ever walk through. You know, Jesus Christ is the most important door. And uh, he was on probation, and he knew he needed to get saved, and so he prayed a salvation prayer with me. And so, praise God, another one in the kingdom. But it all, it's easy when you have a segue, when you have an icebreaker, and you can just flow right in to the conversation and talk about the gospel. It increases your opportunities to witness if you can just know how to get into that conversation through a, a great icebreaker. And that's what I'm trying to show you here today. Another one here is, is sugar. You know, there might be a stevia or splenda on your table at the restaurant, but you can just say, you know, this sugar reminds me of how sweet it is to trust in Jesus. And then you just see what they say. Another one is bread. Um, this is just bread from the grocery store, but you can um, use your, your bread that you get, you know, whatever it is they have. And you say, this bread reminds me of what Jesus said in Matthew 4, verse 4, that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. And also Jesus said, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will never go hungry. And so after you throw out that iceberg, you just see what they say. Then you'll know whether they're warm whether they're hot, whether they're cold, whether they know the gospel or not, or many are backslidden because they've been offended by something that happened at church, so that you can, you know, lead them and, and uh, back to the Lord just through listening to whatever, you know, they have to say. Another example is hamburger or steak. You can say, this meat reminds me of what Jesus said. My meat is to do the will of my Father. And then you pause and you see what they say. Or you could use fish. If you order fish, you could say, Fish reminds me of what Jesus says. Come, and I will make you fishers of men. And uh, I like to say, Do you know how much Jesus loves me? That's a good one. And another is salt and pepper shakers. You know, they are on every restaurant table. You can say, These salt and pepper, sh these salt and pepper shakers remind me of the kingdom of darkness and the kingdom of light. And then you pause and you see what they say. Um, you could go on and say, you know, it says in Matthew 24, verse 31, that when Jesus comes again, the sun and the moon will be darkened and the stars will fall from the heavens and the powers of the heavens will be shaken, just like these salt and pepper shakers. And then Jesus will come again in the clouds and the angels will gather all the Christians together and, and take them up to heaven. And those who refuse to receive Jesus as their Lord will be left behind. And then, you know, see what they say. <laughs> That's the long version. Or you can use knife. This sharp knife reminds me of the sword of the Spirit. And then pause and see what they say. <laughs> you could go on and say, you know, it says in Hebrews 4, verse 12, that the Word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. And the Word of God cuts away the devil's lies. And then see what they say. Of course, you know, when you talk to your waiter or your server, 
you can witness to them as well. You know, I like to say, do you know how much Jesus loves you? And, uh, and then that can easily start a conversation. You could also say, you know, I want to thank you for the excellent service that you've given us today. And it reminds me of Jesus Christ because he came to the earth to serve. He came to earth to, to serve. You know, he even served and multiplied the loaves and the fishes. You know, he served by turning the water into wine. <laughs> and he served by, by healing the sick. You know, um, and you can just go on and on. Another one that I like to use is water. My goodness, water is so simple. It's one of my favorite ones to use. You can say, you know, this water reminds me of the living water. And then you see what they say. Do they know what you're talking about or not? And then you can ask, have you ever had any of that water, that living water? And as you throw out the icebreaker, then you listen to what they have to say. And then the conversation begins. And that's the whole purpose of Traintracks.com is to get you started witnessing to the lost. So I encourage you to go to Traintracks.com.